You hate ads? I hate ads. You know what I like? Patreon.com slash Inkdependence keeps this blog ad-free. <laughs> Hello folks, welcome to Inkdependence. I'm Mike and these are the Sakura Ball Sign Knock pens. I picked up some of these at the uh, the old jetpens.com. In fact, it's the only place I've seen these Sakura Ball Sign pens. Uh, you might know Sakura from the Jelly Rolls, which are like this if i can get one out of there there we go this is sakura jelly roll uh and uh i like the jelly roll a lot they make a good gel pen uh and so i was like well let's try these knock ones these are 0.4 millimeter as you can see here on the clip and they also have some of them in a 0.5 now there are a lot of colors of the uh sakura uh ball sign knocks uh so I think the most colors actually in the 0.4 millimeter, then a more normal sort of range in the 0.5 millimeter, which is just a little bit bigger, I guess. I don't actually have any of those. Uh, then they have 0.6s and some 0.8s, but those are only in like metallics and glitters and pastels and stuff. They don't really have like black and blue and that sort of thing in the larger uh, point sizes because, uh, and I, I kind of wish they did because this 0.4 is very fine and I tend to only use these in uh, like my plan. If I'm using like a Hobonichi planner or something, these are great because you have like small boxes you need to write in uh, and they're tiny. So, or if you like a really small point size, because these are a thin 0.4, I think. So, these are the three pens I got. Um, I actually had a 0.6 millimeter in like a metallic blue color, but honestly, that pen never wrote. It, uh, I, I just, I... I never got it to write, and I was always a little disappointed in that because I think 0.6 would probably be a sweet spot for me with these pens. I might pony up and get a couple more, but uh, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. I, one thing I really like about this pen is the design. Uh, it's just an interesting shape and an interesting feel. So it has this tiny little clip. It's got a clear knock with the uh, with a color like a post in there, the same color as the rest of the the pen and such. Uh, and then you have this little little label on the back, and uh, like that's it for. That's it for any kind of like telling you what this pen is. It's just all right here. And then you have this very skinny body back here and then kind of a fat grip. And actually the material is different between the uh, the pen body, which is a very nice smooth plastic, and the grip, which is like, I can dig into a little bit. It's more rubbery of a plastic. It's got a little bit of grip and I, I actually really like it. I think it feels great in the hand. Uh, the click is pretty okay. It's got a it's got a solid click on it and it feels good. And you can actually you can see the little mechanism spinning around in there. Neat, right? Uh, so yeah, pretty good. And uh, I got uh, blue, black, orange, and uh, brown, black for these. I actually have a couple of oranges. I think I just forgot to you know forgot what I was ordering. The refill in them um, it looks kind of uh, it's actually interesting because this is like. This is like painted or something, right? This is this is printed with that brown color. It doesn't actually, it's not actually that full. How full is it? Can I even tell? It's opaque. I can't even tell. But I haven't used uh, enough of this to really wear it down. Uh, I was looking through some pens to see what this was pretty close to. Uh, just to give you size comparisons and such. Here we have a... Uh, uh, Zebra Sarasa, which is one of my very favorite gel pens. Right there. Then we have the, uh, the Ink Joy Gel which is always longer than pretty much everything else. Then we have the, uh, the Uniball Signo. And then here's the, uh, the G2, the Pilot G2, the best-selling gel pen around. Maybe the best-selling pen? I don't really know. Maybe that goes to Bix or something, but uh, very normal sort of size. Uh, and it, it's not the same as this one, and it's not the same as this one, but it's fairly close to the, uh, the Sarasa. Let me get this refill out here, and I'll show you. It is just a smidge longer than the Sarasa, I believe. Um, actually, yeah, pretty much exactly the same as the Sarasa. So I think any pen that you can take a Sarasa refill and put it in, um, then there are lots of like metal bodied pens. Uh, I think this would probably fit. The diameter is maybe slightly smaller on the Sakura, but I think it's not gonna be small uh, enough smaller to make any difference at all. So uh, yeah, good size pen, nice refill. Uh, I've only had that one that didn't work, so, I don't know, sometimes metallic pens don't really work all that well. They have like a dye or something that doesn't, that like dries out too much. So this is the Sakura. Uh, ball sign. Knock. In brown, black. 0.4 millimeter. 
And I think this brown black is actually a very nice color. I'm a fan of brown blacks and off blacks in general. This is the Sakura. Can you tell my handwriting is a little bit spidery with these? That's because I'm just not used to using something this small. I think the orange on here is actually a very nice vivid orange. It's totally readable. It's a little bit maybe on the peachy side or something like that, but not too bad. One thing that is tough to do apparently with um, pens like gel pens and, uh, and ballpoints is make a good orange. And so I like to try out the orange just to see how the line does with different kinds of... Uh, you know, colors and that sort of thing. So there you go. This is the Sakura Ball Sign Knock in 0.4. Very nice gel pen if you like a very fine uh, tip, but there are a zillion colors of this thing, including a bunch of them that are meant to like write on black paper and all kinds of stuff. So give these a try. They are $2.80 at JetPens right now, and I'll see y'all later. Peace out.